Hello, I'm Anaya from Glen Avenue School. You're watching Dumbarton Life. Love having Anaya here. Isn't she cute? We, we renamed her One Take Anaya. One Take she Anaya. She did that in one take. You're going home with us. You don't mind, do you? <laughs> you okay? All right, just check. Whether it's for your family or for a large group, cooking for a crowd can be rather challenging. You want to offer something healthy yet packed with flavor. Well, one woman has found the secret to success. She started with some basic ingredients and now she's biting into the benefits. Blending, chopping, slicing, and stirring, it's all in a day's work for Ethel Pila. I think it's just been in my blood since I was little. 15 years ago, the newly divorced single mother started from scratch. Now she's concocted a kosher catering company that's bringing home the dough. Edibles by Ethel grosses about a quarter million dollars each year. It is um, physically demanding, it is mentally demanding, um, and oftentimes it seems that when it rains, it pours. She works seven days a week and has about 60 part-time employees. James Krishner is one of her taste testers. I really think that she has a, a very um, unique knack of putting together a menu. This is Ethel's wheat berry and arugula salad. She says the kernels of wheat minus the hull is packed full of vitamin E and magnesium. Good. So how can you do this at home? Well, after cooking the wheat berries, combine them with celery, pecans, dried cherries, sweet potatoes, and beets, add some scallions and parsley, throw in the arugula along with some olive oil and lemon juice. Lemon's a great way to brighten up just about anything. And she says the wheat berry is packed with protein and low in calories. Trying to talk my clientele into getting away from uh, useless carbs and, and starches. She relies on word of mouth. And after one bite, her clients are eager to spread the word. So perhaps you are thinking about starting a business just like Ethel. Well, now, before you do, she suggests that you reach out to others who have found success and get tips so that you don't have to reinvent the wheel. Yeah. Now, we just saw how easy it was for Ethel to throw together that wheat berry and arugula salad. We're going to try to do it in our kitchen right here, right now. And here is what you need. You need some wheat berries, sweet potato. Uh, you need a medium beet. Medium beet. You also need... Uh, some dark cherries, or you can use craisins, okay. chopped pecans, yeah. and celery. celery stalks, two of them, a scallion, chopped Italian parsley leaves, four, or four tablespoons of olive oil, and lemon juice. And lemon juice, okay. okay. It's a little salt and pepper for taste as well. And of course the arugula. Right. So we're gonna put it all together here in our kitchen. And um, actually we have arugula, but there's a little bit of spinach in there. Okay. As well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you start cutting. We actually did already start cutting. You had me chop the celery. I had you chop the celery and, and the scallions. scallions. Now okay. you're going to dice up this sweet potato that's already cooked. It's do nice I, and tender. Do I skin it or do that too? No, leave leave the skin on. Okay. I like. I guess it's your own preference. I like the skin on because okay. it's uh, good for you. And I'm dicing this bad boy up. And I like sweet potatoes because they don't have as high of a glycemic index as regular potatoes. So. I don't even know what a glycemic index <laughs> yeah, is. Yeah, you do. Hand me those beets over there, and I'll go ahead the and chop them I up. I was amazed. At, for some reason, I would never would have thought that was beets. Really? Yeah. They've been cooked, so they are nice and uh, tender okay. to cut up. So I'm going to cut up mine here. The thing about beet is the juice. Yeah. I, I spilled beet juice in my, get this, in my car yesterday. You did not. <laughs> I did. Oh, my. <laughs> On the seat. And my husband wanted to use it, so it, it came out of my lunchbox. So I sent them out. I'm like, okay, you can use my car, but you got to clean up the beet juice. You have to explain where all that came from. <laughs> okay, so how you doing over there? Are you okay. all caught up? I'm diced here. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put this salad together. Mm -hmm. So we're going to start off with our got the arugula. arugula. Okay. And we have, like I said, I have a little bit of spinach in here. Also, the wheat berry. The wheat berry. Now, if you don't know what a wheat berry is, they explained it a little bit, as we saw there, but it's actually um, basically the, the whole wheat itself, minus the hull. So you've got the germ, and you've also got the bran, oh. and the, uh, what did they call it? And, Endosperm. And, and the whole grain thing is supposed to be great for you, right? Yeah, so we're going to put that in there. Okay. All right. Dump that in. And every, really... Everything else you, you dump in. Just put her in. You get, go ahead and put your sweet potatoes Everything in, here? your okay. celery. Uh, I've got my beets over here. Put that in there. Got my parsley, half cup of parsley all chopped up. I gotta tell you, I love me some celery. You love you some celery? Love me some scallions. Love you. And, and when you cut up the scallions, you want to use the white part and the green part. 
Use it all. Use it all. Be efficient. I use as much as the vegetable as I can. Right. If I don't use it, I give it to my rabbit. There you, you go. Know that. I say that every time. <laughs> okay, these are craisins. That's craisins. Right? Okay. I'm going to put those in there. That that's adds a little bit of sweetness to it. Got your salt and pepper right there. We've got our chopped walnuts. Right. I'll put and these away over here. We're going to put in some olive oil. I think it's two, four tablespoons of olive oil. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and put that in there. Okay. And our lemon juice. I like fresh, but we're taking the shortcut here. And See, we're you're better than I am because you know what I would do? <laughs> and then you would do. <laughs> that was what I'd shoot for. And throw all that right. in now, there. while Lisa's doing this, uh, here's your opportunity to get the recipe. It's very easy to get. All you have to do is send us a self address stamped envelope to 1729 North Salisbury Boulevard in Salisbury, 21801. Go to delmarvalife.com or call us at 443-880-9116 and ask for the wheat berry and arugula salad. And I are, got wheat, beet juice all over got the my beet hands. Juice on there. So we're going to put a little bit of salt and pepper in there to taste. Okay. All right, Jimmy, stir that. I don't get to toss it. You toss promised. It. You promised me I'd get to toss the salad. <laughs> yeah, but I, I know you. You would toss it across the room. I could. I could make it in here. I no. could do it. I could make it happen. <laughs> I'm telling you. Well, it looks good. It does. Look, and it's pretty too. Look at the colors. And I think. Yeah, and it's the all pretty over colors the place. all over the place. And it's all over the really, place. Really, you trusted me with this big spoon. Yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and taste this. I think that is what one of the uh, chefs has always taught us. What's that? It's got to be pretty. The presentation is worth. Well, a if lot. it doesn't look good, you're not going to want to eat you it. Want to eat it? Right. All right. All right. So let's. We're just going to eat it out of the bowl here. You guys don't mind, do you? <laughs> oh, you're going to like this. You're going to like this a lot. Hmm? Good stuff, huh? It is good stuff. And it was mm -hmm. as easy as they showed us it was. It really was. We did it in, what, three minutes? So there you go. Mm-hmm. Mm mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'll have to taste it some more to be sure. All right. <laughs> Still ahead on Delmarva Life. Where is Brian? He's somewhere on the peninsula. Brian, we are ready for our second clue. Well, Jimmy and Lisa, here we go. Your second and final clue. Clue number two. The town spans two counties. I'll reveal where I am when we come back. But first, here's a look at what's coming up in the news on First at Five on Fox 21 and later on WBOC News at 6.